So here it is. It has been long awaited and I apologize for being so behind on it, but this is my post Lent slash post Easter makeup haul. And I honestly don't know why it took me so long, but this is finally here and this is all the stuff that I have bought up from Easter to today. I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. First thing that I did was I went to a beauty store and they had a buy three get one free sale. So I got three OPI nail colors and then I got the OPI base coat. And this is the natural nail base coat. I really, really like this stuff. It grabs onto your nail polish really nicely and it's just a really great formula. And I'm going to start off with the color that I'm wearing right now. And this is only one coat. And one coat dries really quick, too. This is called Pink Flamingo. And it's just a magenta fuchsia color. I really like this color. And I got Malaysian Mist. And this is a pinky, creamy nude color. This is a good color for, you know, if you want to cover up your nails, but you don't want something super bold. This is just a nice, natural, understated color. And I also got in my back pocket. And one thing that I want to point out about the OPI nail polishes is the brush. I really like the brush. It, um, it's really wide and it's really flat as well, as you can see. So you cover more surface area when you're painting your nail. And it's just a really good brush and a really good formula as well. Went to Sally Beauty Supply and I bought a pair of false eyelashes and it's these lashes that I'm wearing right now and I believe they're called Demi Pixies. They're by Ardell. Um, I'll put the information in the information box down there and they're just really nice lashes. They're part of the natural lashes line. I really like these because they're like the lashes that I wish I naturally had because they're long and you know, they're not like super bold or dramatic like, like these lashes. These are the 107s. So these ones are like really bold and dramatic. I like these because they're really, you know, understated, but they give your eyelashes some length and a little bit of volume. Um, I got a Sally Girl nail polish. I believe these are 99 cents, but these are really, really tiny. So here is the actual OPI nail polish and these are the Sally Girl. So cute. Um, this doesn't have a shade name, but I've just been needing a mid-tone blue because I want to do a summer nail tutorial and I needed a color to represent the sky or like the waves of the ocean, something like that. So I got that. And I got two China Glaze nail polishes. Um, China Glaze came out with a new collection of nail polishes. I believe it's called Poolside, but basically the line just has, you know, bright, summery, fun colors like that. And the names are, you know, really cool also. I got this color. This color is intense. This is called Sun Worshipper. And just to give you an idea of how bright it is, this is in my back pocket and this is Sun Worshipper. So this is like a mid-tone orange and this is like a bright tangerine like highlighter orange. I think that this is one of those colors that will glow under a black light. So we'll see. I can't wait to use this. I have been wanting this color for the longest time. And it's funny because when I would go to Sally Beauty Supply, this color never stood out to me. But ever since I got introduced to it, um, I've just been seeing it on websites and pictures of people's manicures, stuff like that. I went to Sally Beauty Supply and this is just the first color that stood out to me. And this is called For Audrey. And this is a dusty turquoise sky blue teal color so pretty and I'm so stoked to use this um, I'm definitely going to be doing a tutorial with this color and yeah for Audrey really gorgeous color and Urban Decay had a friends and family 30% off sale but I only got one thing and that is the D slick in a tube this is a mattifying gel. I'm going to be doing an experiment on this product where I'm going to put it on in the morning, go about the day, and then we'll see how it looks. And I'm also going to be doing touch-ups on it because this is also a product that can you, you can use to touch up throughout the day. So look forward to an experiment on this product. Okay, so now I'm just going to get into my Strictly MAC products. And I'm going to start out with the nail polish that I bought. And this is the only MAC nail polish that I own right now. And this is called Malibu Peach, and it's Strictly Coral. And this, I forgot what collection this came out with. I 
I'll, I'll try and find the link for it, but this is just a pretty color. I've never used MAC nail polishes before, so I'm really excited to use this as well. And I, got, I had some recyclables, so I went to go get some free lipsticks. Um, if you're familiar with Mac's Back to Mac program, you turn in six empty containers and you get one free lipstick. So I got this color, and it's coral, and it's called Vegas Volt. And the Mac counter by my school always sells out of this super fast, so I couldn't get it there. I went to the Mac counter by my house, and or by where I live, and they had it, so I couldn't pass it up. I had to get this and it's called Vegas Fold. And I had extra empty containers, so I didn't really intend on getting a second lipstick, but I went ahead and got it anyway. So I was looking at the colors, and this color really stood out to me. This is called Lickable, and it's a creamy, cream sheen finish. It's a fuchsia magenta color. Kind of like my nails. I really like this color. Can't wait to use it. And if you saw my One Product Three Purposes video, you know that I got the Coral Crepe Paint Pot from the Pret a Papier collection from MAC. And I also got an eyeshadow from the Liberty of London collection, and I just love the packaging of the Liberty of London stuff. I even keep it in the box still just because the box is gorgeous. I love this. And this is called Free to Be. And this is a permanent MAC eyeshadow, I believe, but I wanted to get it in the packaging just because the packaging's so cute and I absolutely love it. I got a mineralized blush, and that's the blush that I'm wearing right now, and this is called Lovejoy. And this is a bronzy, like a rosy bronze color with a little bit of gold shimmer in it. And it's a really good contouring color as well, you can see. I really like it. It's perfect for medium skin tone, so that's Lovejoy. What else? Oh, MAC came out with a new collection. I believe it was either earlier this week or last week or something like that. And it's called the Super Glass Collection. So I got one Super Glass and I'm going to be doing a review on this. So look forward to that. Oh, and the shade is called Totally Bang with an exclamation point at the end. And now it is time for my favorite thing out of this whole lot of makeup. I have been wanting this for the longest time. I know it's not a big deal, but I'm just really stoked that I own one of these. And it's a MAC palette. And this is the one that holds 15 eyeshadows. And I'm just super stoked that I own one of these now. And I just think it looks so cool. And some of these are the actual pan refills. And some of them I actually depotted myself. Um, none of these are new eyeshadows. I just... I've just been needing a palette for the longest time, so I finally have one of these, and I'm super duper stoked. This is what it looks like, and I'm just going to go ahead and read the colors to you. Uh, let's do it like this. Okay, so this is Satin Taupe. This is Naked Lunch. This is Retrospec, and this is like a champagne color. Really good highlight color. As you can see, I'm almost hitting pan on it. This one, you know that I use this color a lot. This is called Espresso, and it's a matte dark brown. This one is Cory. This one, you know, if you saw my 40 Questions beauty tag video, you know that this is my favorite eyeshadow of all time, and I really wish it wasn't a discontinued eyeshadow. This is called Innuendo. This is Woodwinked. This one is Mythology. This is Samoa Silk, and I use this as my highlight as well sometimes. This color right here, this one sticks out like a sore thumb in the palette. This is Chrome Yellow, and it's a matte, like, school bus yellow. I have never used this color for the time that I've owned it, and I've seriously owned this color for a good two years now. It's a gorgeous color, but I just don't know how to use it. This is Paradisco. This is Hepcat. Um, this is Humid, this is Shimmer Moss, and Contrast. So that's my palette, my little 15 eyeshadow palette. If you have any color combinations that you'd like to see, let me know, especially with the chrome yellow. 
So that's pretty much it if you wanted to see any color combinations with the eyeshadows or the nail polishes, any ideas, let me know, send them my way. And remember, I'm going to be doing an experiment on the Urban Decay D Slick in a Tube Mattifying Gel, and I'm going to be doing a review on the MAC Super Glass. So I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend, and it's Mother's Day, so I'm going to go downstairs and greet my mommy, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!